Hi there, and welcome back to How Do You Do That in KineMaster? In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to add transitions. First thing we need to do is create a new project. So let's click that Create New button up at the top. Um, I'm okay with the aspect ratio and the photo display mode, but I do think I'm going to shorten our photo duration to three, just so I can fit quite a few of them in for our tutorial. Once I'm okay with that, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And I'm just gonna choose some media. I'm just gonna pick some random images here. Um, just at random. Just so that we have something to play with. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click this button up here. And as you see, we've got quite a few pictures here. Now these black squares or gray squares with that plus sign in them, that is where a transition could go. So if I push the play button without transitions, we're gonna see that there's kind of a little bit of a jump in between each one of the images. So there's a jump and there's a jump. It's just kind of a quick jump from one picture to the next. So adding a transition is going to smooth those out. Now, the way to add a transition is by simply clicking on the plus button. And that opens up this menu over here that says transition effect. Now I have a lot of transition effects in my menu because I add them all the time, but there are some that come already loaded on KineMaster, even in the free version. Most of these are, um, are assets that I can have because I pay for the subscription. But like I said, there are some free ones available. And the one that I use the most actually is in the free version, and that is in the classic transitions. So if I click on classic transitions, that's going to open up three different options. I can either zoom out, fade through, or crossfade. So the first one I'll try is zoom out. So if I just click on zoom out, you can see that that changes that gray box to this red one. And it also opens up this dial here. This dial changes the duration or speed of the transition. So it automatically went to 1.5 seconds. So I'm just gonna leave it there and we'll see how we like it. If I run that back a little bit and just push the play button, then we can preview what it looks like. See how much smoother that is than that quick jump from one picture to the next. So I'm gonna do that again, and let's try one of those other transitions. Click the plus button. I'm gonna scroll on down all the way to the bottom. <laughs> back to my classic transitions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the crossfade. Honestly, this is the one I use the most. It's just a really nice smooth transition. So let's try again. Here is the first one. And there's the second one. Did you see how smooth that was? It's actually because this photo is not very long. So let's make that a little bit longer so we can have a better idea. from one picture to the next, smooth as can be. So those are some really simple transitions. And um, I thought I'd show you some of the more fancy, <laughs> I'm sorry, some of the more fancy transitions or fun transitions. And while I'm doing it, I'm gonna make these a little bit longer. I guess I should have stuck with the longer duration on those. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna click the plus sign again. And this is one of my favorites. This is called Line Walker. I'm gonna click on that. And this has actually six different options of things that you can do with this particular transition. I'm gonna go with number three. And it'll show you a little bit of a preview of how that looks. It kind of changes things to black and white and has these fun lines, but you could do it a different way too. If you choose one, it's gonna change it that way or five. 
So they're all different variations on that line walker. There are other ones in here. This one I like a lot too. This is called preview roll. That's a really fun transition. Also has several different options. This one's really interesting. It kind of makes your photo look like it's on a computer screen. Isn't that neat? Yeah, you can really fall down the rabbit hole, like I said. Here's an interesting one too. So many different options. So let me show you next where you would find the, the uh, transition effects for purchase, like in the store. So the KineMaster Asset Store is right here. It just looks like this little store window. You can just click on that. And that's going to open up all of the transitions that you have available. And there are a lot of them, believe me. So you can pick any one of these. And this is just one page of many pages. These ones are all like action transitions, analog transitions. These ones kind of look like maybe there's an issue with your computer or your TV screen. But anytime you'd want to look at these to see exactly what the VHS fade is or what the flash gl glitch is, you could just click on them and it'll show you a preview of how they've used it. And they're usually set to music, so it's kind of fun. So if I want to preview this one, this is what it shows me. That way I could decide if that's something I wanted in my project. If I do find one that I like, then I can just download it and it'll be added right into my other transition assets. So let's find one I don't have and we'll see how that looks. Hmm, I have actually so many of these. <laughs> there was one that I saw earlier that I thought was pretty interesting. I'll try to find that one. Naturally, I'm not finding it now. <laughs> Here, Gradient Fall. Let's click on that. I've already previewed it a little while ago, and I think it's pretty cute. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. It's very fast. See that? It's already installed. I'm going to go back to my editing screen and I would like to add that transition right here. Here it is, gradient fall, and it's going to give me a couple different options that way or that way or that way or that way. I think I'm going to stick with this one. Click the OK box. And let's play it and see what we think. And it's really that easy. The hardest part about it is actually choosing, <laughs> choosing the one you like best. That's always the hardest part for me. I think I'll just try a new one. Now in this transition, you see it's got these different lines. You've got orange and you've got yellow lines but you can change those colors to anything you want simply by clicking over here, playing with it a little bit. Hmm. I don't want to put some really weird colors together. Let's try it like that. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, some of it's just me rambling, and I apologize for that. I just get really excited when I'm, when I'm on KineMaster. <laughs> it's a lot of fun for me. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and sharing as always, just like every YouTuber says. And um, yeah, if there's something that you'd really like to see, uh, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to help you out if I can. All right. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a great day. Bye-bye.